Today, we're going to look at Yeter Gross Matos. For the duration of this film, I'm going to be calling him 99. Uh, Penn State, number 99, of course, edge player. He's going to be in the conversation amongst the other edge guys that aren't named uh, Chase Young or whatnot. So, you know, we just got to talk about his traits a little bit and what makes him considerably, you know, possibly a first round pick or so i think that's mostly because he plays edge and edge guys are very important to the grand scheme of football right so i think what he is is that he's a ball of clay for the most part but what he is like think about his ceiling and what that means for somebody right you know you look at aj epinesi you know he's at his floor kind of sort of so he's kind of what he is going to be um chase on is super athletic guy but he can of course learn some things Gross Matos is like 6'5 or so, 200 and mad pounds. Combine nerds, help me out in the chat box, please. Um, but he shows you good measurables, good length. He just really don't know how to play football yet, right? Uh, what he is is that he's really good versus the run, and um, he sets edges really well. And I kind of got another little gripe that we're going to talk about a little bit, but uh, we're, we're just going to break down the film and just get to it, man. Here's another few examples of him just, just, just setting the edge masterfully, and I had to – pause the video to say masterfully setting the edge um let's just take a look real quick so ohio state is going to run this thing to the left we know uh jk dobbins is a guy that likes to read and react or whatever but boy nine nine does a fantastic job of setting this edge here masterfully goodness if he don't do if he don't do anything else if he don't do nothing else, he sets the edge and he allows uh, for the rest of his guys to come in and make flow plays, right? Because if 99 gets blocked right here, then let me come back, boom, boom, boom. If 99 gets blocked right here, like terribly or whatever, then JK could, you know, bounce this thing outside. He can, you know, wiggle, you know, wiggle an A gap somewhere, like right up on 73. But the fact that 99 really dropped everything right here and cut this whole situation off right here, it forced J.K. Dobbins back into all this trouble and turbulence, man. Masterful. Facts. Another example. They're going to run right in his direction. And look, after a while, if you watch this whole game, they just stop running to that side or at least they stop, uh, you know, going heavy C gap. You know, they'll either run to the other side, they'll pass the ball, they'll work their way in the middle somewhere. They stop trying to get heavy C gap out here with 9-9 nine nine because he just he, – he really gets that foot in the ground, drops his hips, and he just stops it. Look at 75 just stop right here. 75 starts off in solid position kind of sort of, but, man, 9-9 nine is going to drop his hips and – it just stops you see him just stop right there and it forces jk to get real backside with it man like it, it's top tier stuff right there um but let me kind of just hate on him for a little bit so when we're watching double nine as a pass rusher we got to keep in mind uh that he's not exactly refined at it like he's very raw but i think there are some other things that we're kind of missing i think he's missing uh rushing with a plan he's missing real like technical skills he got the body for it, the size and the physical traits, I would say. And I would even say that he's powerful enough to do it, but I don't think he's violent enough in his past sets. Now, now these things can be coached, maybe. Maybe they can't. I don't know. I'm just a YouTuber, right? I don't, I don't know what his mindset is. I don't know what 99's mindset is, right? But if you just take a look at this rush, you see a lot of rushes like this to where he just kind of don't get it going, right? You know, it... it, it, it Give me a little more than that. I'm not saying that he's lazy. I'm not saying that because he gives effort throughout the game. And sometimes you will see some pass rushes. We're going to show a little bit of this later. You'll see some pass rushes where he's going a little faster than what he's going. But I think if he had a little more violence, if he had a little more violence and urgency here, he'll probably be a little better as a pass rusher. Let me show you another example. So he's lined up here at three tech and I'm not the biggest fan of him at three tech. And there's a lot of people that think that I want to put all defensive ends at three tech. That's not the case. You know, I, I think he's a full time DN and he shouldn't be here. But sometimes they put nine nine in at three tech to go rush the pass or whatever. Cool. It's your it's your you know prerogative. You can do whatever you want to do with it. But here's it's just another example of I just don't think he's violent all the time when I when I, when I really want him to be right. Now, don't get me wrong. He got in on his play. But how much more gangster would it have been if he would have gotten there earlier? Now, watch this. I understand if this was like a play action call and he kind of had to read it to see what was going on before he made his rush. That'll make sense to me. But it's empty. 
this this empty like like go get your guy like go get him <laughs> go, go get that guy up out of here you know uh somebody's gonna be like yo vach what if he's playing contain well he's in b gap so i don't think he's doing that um i just i just wanted to see a little bit more from him um he's just kind of inconsistent and up and down with it now there are situations where he starts to move in a little bit and he'll create a little pressure, but if he was a little more technical sound, he would have gotten the sack. Watch this. For whatever reason, he turned his jets on on this play, and he got a little bit of pressure. He just didn't get there. And even on this play where he's rushing from the left defensive end spot, we see better jets than what we saw at first, right? It's just that we got to see a little bit more finish, you know? He just didn't get there. And this time he's lined up in B gap again, in which I, you know, I really don't like. But you know, maybe he, like maybe if he had a plan here, he'll be a little better off. You know what I'm saying? Just just at, in B gap dealing with a guard that's probably more powerful than you. It just seems like he didn't think this through uh, prior to him, you know, rushing. You know, he just kind of lined up and went. I, I just got a few concerns on those things. He did have a sack in this game. I didn't want to take that away from him. I just didn't think that he did this consistently enough. And I could chalk this up to 75, just not moving his feet. But you know. That's, you know, that that just is what it is. Now, when he goes to the National Football League, is he going to run across some tackles that won't move their feet? I mean, sure, he'll probably want to, he'll probably run across a, a handful of them. You know, Eric Flowers is in the league still, I I, I think, I'd imagine. Um, but he's he's not going to run into this a lot, though. I don't want to take any I don't want to take anything from him. Right. Um, he did. He did get a sack here. He did get his, you know, he got his numbers here. Um you know, I just I just want to know if if that skill is going to translate into him doing it more often. Plus, it depends on on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a left defensive end that's going to stop the run and not really pass rush that much, then you know that's cool. And I just wanted to show this one play this one time because I know people that have watched film on him have seen this. And I just wanted to touch on it and didn't really, you know, I didn't want to like neglect it or like ignore it or whatever. Um, here's nine nine right here, and Penn State stands him up and they actually drop him in cover sometimes. Every time they do it, I hate it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Yeah, man. So I was gonna stop the video right there, but a Penn a Penn State fan told me to uh, go watch the Indiana game and tell me what you think about that. So I decided to pull up the Indiana game, and I'm gonna take a look at it, and I may give him ten or so plays to change my mind. And if he hasn't done anything in ten to twelve or so plays to change my mind, then I'm gonna stick with my verdict on uh, Big Ninety Nine. Let's take a look at him. <clears throat> take a look at him. He's going to be on the the uh right side of your screen here so that's how we're gonna do this defensive end right side our right or defensive end our left we're gonna run this clean we ain't gonna edit it let's let's take a look at um take a look at nine nine here see what he does big nine nine ball kind of came out quick but he did kind of run down the middle of these people so whatever he's gonna be on the left side of your screen right now and i noticed because 18 is on the other side so now he's on the left side ball came out quick but Okay, so I ain't going to hold you for that. Noventa y Nueve. Let's see what you got, buddy. He's on the left side again. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does there. Let's see what he does there. Uh, kind of try to use his length. If he uses his length, like, like watch this. Like if he would gauge distance with his left hand, stay square to the line of scrimmage, not square with the offensive line because that's kind of what, what we want. But if he was square more so with the line of scrimmage, gauge distance with his left hand and then kind of defeated the offensive lineman's right hand with his, I mean, the offensive lineman's left hand with his right hand, he probably would have had a better shot. But he just kind of kind of engaged and, you know, try to get off a little bit. The ball came out quick, so I'm not going to knock him. I will say Indiana's getting rid of the ball pretty quick here, and I'm not going to knock Gross Matos, but there's this thing I got called projecting and Photoshop. I can kind of simulate what you was about to do. Let's see here. His athleticism ain't the best. Let me see if I can move this over, give us a better look of how he was running this thing from the beginning. Let's see. Yeah. So he so he so he looks a, he he looks a little clumsy running. Uh combine nerds help me out. If he had a combine number, help me out. I don't remember. Yeah, uh 
I'm not going to call about his whole name. I don't remember 99 running very much, so y'all tell me what his number was. I don't have it off the top of my head. I tell you what, some tight end just smoking this boy. Let's see what, what was this. And he was reading the run. I, I ain't going to hate on him on that. I ain't going to hate him. Let's see. He's on the right side of your screen. No, he, no, that's 18. The left side. Thing. He's on the left side of your screen. Oh, God, that ball got off. And you know what? We we, we, we go back to violence, right? Violence, intis, intensity, you know, like ass whoop relentlessness. Like he's the last one to come off the football here. Let me just go this. Let me just move this slow. Let me just tick, 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 tick. Everybody's up and ready and his hand's still on the ground, fam. That don't happen all the time, but I just hate it whenever it happens. <laughs> Get your ass out your stance, uh, 99. Noventa Nueve, which is longer than Yuta y- y- Uh Like, he's just going to push this tight end around and not get off of him, right? Ball came out quick, though. Can't knock him for that. I don't know why they recommended me this Indiana game. This game's kind of – this is a terrible film to evaluate a defensive end off of. I'm having to do a lot of Photoshopping and projecting and simulation, but it's cool. He's standing up. I hate when they when they do that to him. I hope he's coming forward. Let's see. Let's see. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. He's coming forward. All right, cool. It's a little better, but why you stop, though, fam? It's a little better, but why you stop? Ah, goodness. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. It's probably a habit that could be fixed, man. Somebody cuss him out and fix him. Uh, he's on the right side of your screen, the right end on your screen. Uh huh. You, hey man, don't let these big cheering get hands on you, fam. No venti nueve. If I got anybody speaking Spanish, tell me if I'm saying ninety nine in Spanish right. Cause I know like Chad Ocho Cinco was like Ocho Cinco, but that's not eighty five. That's eight five. I think it's Ochenta. Uh, Ochenta e Cinco. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I've been speaking English all my life. T- t- tell me if I'm bugging there, y'all. Just just let me know if I'm bugging. Let's see. I ain't got too, too much longer here with you. Nine, nine. Oh, goodness. <laughs> He's going to da, 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 boom, boom, run past me. Yeah. I ain't got too much longer with you, nine, nine. The cat told me to watch the the, uh, the Indiana game. This ain't this ain't helping his cause. But I will listen to your story. Uh, good job, 11. Oh, goodness. Hey, let's watch 11 for a second. Hold on, time out. Hold on. On say. That's 11 in Spanish. Let's, I think. Let's watch 11 for a second. That's effort. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not watching film on you, my guy. But I do like fun plays. Let's see. Uh, 99 is right there. He is right up top there. Let's see. Yeah, he didn't help nobody there. He helped nobody cause here. All right, move on. Moving on. Uh, I ain't got long with your uh, with your nasty Matos. I, I I got a little bit longer. You ain't on the field. I'm catching a break. Catching a break. Catching a break. Okay, they got him at zero now. Penn State like to do this little goofy mess too. Uh, this was in my notes for the previous portion or whatever, but uh, I just didn't show it because I didn't really feel like I needed to show film of of uh, 99 playing zero, but pretty much the same. Let's get to about uh, three more plays and we're going to get up out of here. For those of you that's watching this and y'all see me doing this long form, I used to do this all the time. This is my old way of doing videos, but uh, I incorporated the editing. I think it's just a cleaner experience and I get to my points quicker. I get to my points quicker. So that's why that happened. But every now and then you'll still me pu- you'll still see me pull out one of these one of these long forms. These long form videos where we just gonna run the film and see what happens. He's on the field, he's not on the field, he's catching a break. <laughs> Boy, he, he sure is on that sideline a bunch, but I ain't talking crazy about him. Let's see. Let's watch like three more plays and get up out of here. He's not on the field. Uh he's not on the field. Okay. And I know he's on. I know when he's on the field because he wears long sleeves. Him and eighteen wear long sleeves. Let's see. He's on the right side of your screen here. He's standing up, and which I hate when he does that, but he is standing up. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. 
I don't know how they thought this would be a better game for him. Let's see. Like, I know which games to show y'all. You know what I mean? I think I should get a little credit for that. Like, I know which games to to show y'all that, that properly, you know, tells the story of the player. Let's see what this run play is. I can't hate him in the run game. I cannot hate him in the run game. No quarrels. Mm-mm. But Noventa Nueve, just, just, we just got some pass game stuff to work on. That's all. That's all. He's going to squeeze that thing down real nice. Shit, I don't hate that play. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Let's see. Boy, this tackle. Oh, good job. By the, good job, Indiana offensive line. I know this ain't about y'all. but I know this ain't about Indiana offensive line. But, boy, just they just passed this thing along nicely. Mm, mm, mm. And the in the way of it just. Mm. All right, hold on. Let's see what we got. Wait, 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 wait. Finally, The Rock has come back to Penn State. Here we go. Pull some cloth. Okay. Hop, boom, dip. But my problem is that he doesn't do that all the time. Like I said, he'll have flashes of greatness, and he just won't get there. I said that early in the early in the film. He'll have these flashes of greatness, and he just won't finish. He just won't get. He won't get there. But just see the flashes. So if you're, uh, whoo, we got another. We got another one. We got another one. Oh boy. Okay. There's there's a sack. So that's two plays out of nine that I'm cool with. <laughs> It's more than nine. 15. Two plays out of 15 or so that I'm cool with. And then they put him back at zero on. We just, all right, cool. Back to our regular schedule. Back to our regular schedule. Let's watch three more. Let's see. Let's see. He's at zero again. I don't want to see you at zero, my guy. Come on. What's What What quarter is this? It's the starting at halftime? All right, cool. I don't want to see you at zero, my guy. I just don't want to see it. Probably don't want to do that. Three more plays and we gone, I promise. Like Cole McCoy and the Redskins drawing for him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. I think if he has a plan, he'll be better. If he just rushes with a plan and pick up a little bit of technique, get more consistent at it, get more used to it, he'll probably be a little better than what he is. But um, that's just what you think about him. Sitting at the edge again, we talk about this in the run game. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get him up out of that 76. I give him that. You ain't just going to get him up out the paint, my guy. I'm not going to be able to do it. Mm-mm. Let's see. I hate this clap cadence, too. It sucks. All right. That's ball game, y'all. Uh, hey, whatever you feel about um, Uter Gross Matos is how you feel about him. Of course, you can watch film on your own. Uh, I think we watched a good little bit here. So, then we had the other film. So, hey, man, this is just a part two. It's going to be in the same video. But appreciate y'all for watching, man. Salute. Doski Woski.